What's up guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and you're watching the Spectrum AR637 t programming series. In this installment, we're going to be discussing how to perform the safe and panic mode setup now that we've completed the first time safe setup. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you're always aware when we release new content. Now let's switch over to the iX12 and get started with the safe and panic mode setup. Now that we've completed the first time safe setup, we're going to go and set up the safe and panic modes. And to do that, we're going to go into model adjust, forward programming, gyro settings. We're going to go to system setup. Under system setup, we'll now see that we have a, uh, a menu option there called safe and panic mode setup. We're going to go ahead and select that. And that's going to allow us to set up all of the different things that you see here. So let's go through each one of these options. So we're going to go ahead and select panic. So here in the panic setup, the first option is our panic and save channel. Right now it's set to inhibit. Let's go ahead and select that. And let's see what this is all about. Now what we're doing here with the panic and save channel is we're setting up a channel on our transmitter to tell the AR637T uh, that we want to go into panic mode. Right now it's set to inhibit, uh, but we can select any of the available channels. We're going to set that up on AUX4. For the delay, we can set up a delay for when we hit the panic button, and we can either have it activated or inhibit. I like for the panic to turn on right away, and to turn off right away as soon as I hit the button. So I'm just going to leave that inhibited. For the panic flight mode, that's where we're going to select the flight mode that the AR637T is going to switch to uh, whenever we press this panic button. So when I go there, I'm going to, right now it's set to inhibit. I can choose any of the flight modes. For now, we're just going to use flight mode 3, which is our normal uh, safe channel. Now, the angle limits that you see here at the bottom are how far you can roll or pitch the airplane when you've got the panic button pressed. I like to turn those way down, uh, you know, so I'm going to turn the roll down to 15 degrees. In fact, I'm just going to turn all of these to 15 degrees because I want there to be very little possibility that uh, any stick movement that I may do when I press the panic button is going to have that large of an effect on the, uh, on the attitude of the aircraft. So now that we've got our panic button set up, let's go back to the safe panic mode setup and let's go to throttle to pitch. So the throttle to pitch settings are how the elevator is going to respond to throttle inputs when we are below or above specific thresholds. So what we can do is we'll go in here and we'll set the, uh, the pitch angle to say 15%. And what that'll do is once I get to 70% throttle, it will slowly start raising the elevator to 15% linearly, you know, so as I hit 70%, between 70 and 100%, it will raise that elevator to 15 degrees. I actually want that to start a little earlier. I want that to start at about 50% of throttle settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that down. So we can only go down to 51. And we're going to hit OK. Now what that's going to do is as I get to 51% throttle, so everything above 50, uh, you know, so from 51 all the way up to 100, it's going to gradually increase the angle of the elevator to 15 degrees up elevator. And as I go below 50, it will re-zero the elevator. So uh, everything below 50% will be at zero elevator and everything above 50%. Now that's with the high throttle to pitch. The low throttle to pitch works the same way, just kind of backwards. So right now, 
the threshold is at 30% throttle and my angle right now is zero but say I wanted to give negative two degrees of angle on the elevator when I am below 30% down to zero. So at zero, I'll have negative two degrees elevator. Right now, the way this is set up, if I'm at zero throttle, I am at negative two degrees elevator. As I advance the throttle up to 30, it gradually goes from negative two degrees up to zero. So between 30 1% throttle and 50% throttle, my elevator will be zeroed out. And as I go from 51 up to 100, it gradually increases from zero angle on the elevator up to positive 15 or 15 degrees up elevator. Uh, we can go ahead and leave it here and we'll go back now. Uh, now, attitude trim is. Uh, what we saw during the initial safe setup. So if your attitude was all messed up or whatever, uh, when you go into safe mode and you test it for the first time, you can go in here and you can manually adjust it, or you can try the level and capture attitude again. Um, as we've been running some of the tests, uh, the attitude adjustment looks fine, so I'm just going to leave it as is. But this is where you would go to adjust that. Uh, the safe fail safe. Uh, is where we would go to tell uh, the controller what flight mode we want to go to in the event that my receiver were to go into failsafe mode. All right, and when we go into failsafe angles, uh, what we'll see is, uh, you know, angles that we can set up for pitch and roll. So if we wanted the aircraft to actually start rolling to the right uh, when the airplane goes into failsafe, so it can kind of go into like a spiral pattern, we can set that up here. Um, now, I leave it on zero, zero. Uh, typically, when, my, when I've had, say, a, a brief moment, like a brownout or something like that, it levels the airplane uh, and and everything is fine. Now, what we can do, you know, if you want to try to save a little damage on the airplane, is we can pitch the nose up a little bit. So let's go ahead and give it, say, three degrees nose up pitch when it's in fail safe. And what that'll do is it will send the airplane out. So it's going to cut the throttle and it's going to continually adjust the elevator uh, and kind of glide it on in. And hopefully it brings the plane down safely when it goes into fail safe mode. So that's an overview of this panic and safe settings on the AR637T. I'm sure that uh, this video will generate a lot of questions. Be sure to leave those questions down in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you guys are interested in purchasing an AR637T, or any of the other items that you see featured in our videos, be sure to check down in the description. We have affiliate links down there, and when you use those links, they help out the channel quite a bit, and we certainly appreciate your support. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn your notifications on so you're always made aware when we release new content. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.